I got a new project here while I'm waiting for uh, the parts for the little Chinese uh, DR49 to come in. I got this old triaxle float trailer. I've had this thing for 20 some odd years. Haven't used it in the last 10. And I decided on the farm I could use a dump trailer. So I'm going to convert it. I got these old beams sitting here and a bunch of big thick angle irons and stuff. So I'm going to make a dump butt back for it. So I get out and I start measuring and I decide I got to cut up these beams. Now there's the uncut one. It's a little over 15 feet. I'm only going nine and a half long on the dump box so I can use the rest for the cross pieces. So I measures it up, goes to cut it, realizes that that sucker is half inch. So I go at it yesterday, or the day before actually with my DeWalt angle grinder and a cutoff wheel. And you can see a new cutoff wheel and an old cutoff wheel. Two of these to get one cut. And I got a whole bunch more cuts to do. So I'm like, there's got to be an easier way. I don't want to have to use my torch because then you're spending forever grinding it, cleaning it up before you can weld again. And of course, back in my day, you had abrasive wheels and you had plasma gutters and, and uh, oxygen acetylene. Well, nowadays, they got these fancy new saw blades that I never heard of that you could put on to cut steel. This particular one is a Concord metal cutting blade, seven and a quarter inch, goes right on your old uh, skill saw. They also have them for chop saws, so you can replace your abrasive wheel. Now that thing's older than the hills, so it's a little underpowered. But I just chopped through that end, half inch steel, and got to be under a minute. Including some, as you can see, I cut through some of the welds on the end. I tell you, I am completely sold on this thing. And it went through, I swear, as fast as I was cutting a 2 by 4 with a regular blade. I even went ahead and bought two thinking I was going to destroy them real quick cutting this thick of steel. Now, I think these are only rated to, uh, uh, I think it was like an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths. But I'll tell you what, they have no problem chewing through half inch as so long as you can keep it straight. Now, when you look at that end, it didn't even get hot. A little bit of grinding, and that thing is ready to weld. So these things, I tell you what, I got it off of Amazon. Pretty decent price. No, no more expensive than a regular high quality wood blade. I highly recommend it. I plan on getting one for my chop saw next. I just chopped that beam nine and a half feet clear through in about four and a half minutes I stopped once to let check the blade make sure it wasn't too hot it wasn't you know what I could touch it with my hand it wasn't super hot I've seen wood blades get hotter okay back at her been uh, dismantling some of the old trailer parts there and I made my quick frame uh, I just got it uh, tacked in. I use my MIG because it's a little easier. I can run it off uh, 115 house current. So I tacked a few spots. Basically, still doing planning. Uh, built this piece here for the ram. Uh, that's where the the bottom of the cylinder mounts in there. It's a one inch pin. It'll be a bolt in this case. And the cylinder sits in here, bolt goes across. And I have to establish this before I can get to welding the actual lift box on. I need to know how far for the brackets, 
how high everything's gonna be. So, some tricky cuts. I had to uh, be creative on my welding and I actually hit her first time right off the smack. Again, all done with that, uh, that skill saw blade. And she's, uh, I'm just gonna weld that in now with the big stick welder here. Mount my ram and then uh, establish where my front of my box is gonna be. I'll update you here in a few. All right, front mounts in, all welded. Uh, probably gotta go underneath and do a couple of spots, but uh, for the most part, she's done. I know, not perfect welds, but I'm not a welder, I'm a farmer. There's the uh, cylinder I bought. Comes with mounts. I just got it mocked in with a pipe. There you see that pipe right there. That's going to be a one inch bolt. And that goes right through the mount both sides. And uh, there you can see the, where the hydraulic line goes into the ram. So it feeds from the bottom up. More or less like a dump truck. No down pressure, it relies on the weight to bring it down. So what I gotta do now is bring the uh, dump center frame, or the main frame, forward, center it off, and find out where I'm gonna weld that onto it. And that's about where I'm at right now. This is gonna take a little while, I wanna make sure this is right before I go and weld it on and lose my damn sanity. All right, so I got the ram brackets mounted to the uh, front piece of the dump. First weld was under amperage, so I uh, I tripled it up. Not so pretty. Uh, I welded both sides, though. Not screwing around with it. So that's the cross piece. The ram obviously will mount down below in the brackets. This whole mess turns, ram stands straight up, and I gotta weld the ends back for the long pieces. Square everything up, then mock it up. I gotta go in still and pick up a bolt. Uh, the pipe I was using was actually kind of heavy gauge, but just by wiggling things around, I actually bent it. So it kind of was throwing me off a bit, so I just ditched it and did it this way. Anyway, weather's starting to roll in here, so I might just call her for the day. All right, bolts are in and tight. Uh, what I did was I tightened them down. You can see that spacer in there now. And I tightened them down enough that uh, they're in, they're not going to move, but I guess spin a bit on their own these are uh, lock nuts so and they're never going to walk out on their own so if i leave the bolt a little loose i don't have the friction in there and on both sides and you know you could just drop some oil down there i was thinking about drilling them and putting uh, grease nipples in and cross drilling them and stuff but for the work and the amount that i'm going to do with this trailer I don't think that's necessary and you know if it turns out that they start to act up I'll just undo them and do them then but for now that ought to do the job a big one inch bolts inch and a half heads so yeah they'll outlast me most likely